Spectrum, let's start at the top. Uh, the Chicago Bears yesterday, certainly, I think, a good feeling for the Bears. A new stadium on the horizon, a new franchise quarterback, offensive weapons. This is not your father's Bears team. This is a little bit different looking. There's actual wide receivers and somebody who's throwing the football, theoretically. And, of course, uh, they got another wide receiver, too, in Roma Dunze. So let's talk about the Bears night last night, Thor. What did you make of it? I thought it was great. Uh, you got the free spot with Caleb Williams, but of course they set that up with their master stroke trade last year. Uh, so you take that gift that you were given and then I, they actually had a decision at number nine, a couple different directions that they could have gone. And I love the decision that they made in taking Roma Dunze. He was that third receiver in the three headed monster uh, receiver Troika that we had at the top of, the, of this nasty receiver class. Uh, and and getting him at number nine, I thought was great value. He's number seven on my board. I think he was ab above number nine on any board you look at. You add him to DJ Moore and to Keenan Allen. How could Caleb Williams ask for a nastier receiving core? You guys remember what Justin Fields' supporting cast was when he uh, entered the starting lineup there in Chicago. And I'm not looking to make excuses for Justin Fields. But there will be no excuses for Caleb Williams if he fails. He has everything there that he needs to be a star. So if he does not become one, it, it, it there will be no excuses and you can move on from him. But I, I expect him to hit the ground running. The Arizona Cardinals hit the ground running with an early pick of Marvin Harrison Jr. 